Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for coming to another video. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. We're on our hike up the mountain towards 20,000 subscribers. And at that time, we'll be doing a really fun giveaway that I'm super psyched to do. It should only be a week or two before we're there, uh, hopefully. Uh, so I really appreciate all the wonderful support over the last couple years, but that's neither here nor there right now. We are back to a video where we're gonna search through our pocket money, well, my pocket money, and look for things that are worth more than face value. What the heck am I talking about? You might be asking if you're new to the channel. Great question. You're starting off well, being all studious like that. Let me crack an egg of knowledge for you. In your everyday pocket money, whether it be coins or paper money, uh, US bank notes, uh, it doesn't have to be a US currency. It can be any currency for that matter or any coin. You can find things that are errors in those coins or simply variety coins that are worth quite a bit of money and this is also in relation to paper money as well. Our website varietyerrors.com kind of outlines all this stuff a little more detailed uh, but these videos basically cover uh, kind of some basic info on how to find stuff in your pocket money that you can get a premium over face value so maybe turn this 10 bucks into more than ten dollars. Great thing about this hobby is you worst case if you find nothing you end up with the same money you started with. So let's get right to it. We're going to start off with a Series 2013 $10 note. So it's a relatively newer 10, albeit five, six years old now. Now things to look for are going to be issues with the print, uh, issues with the actual ink on it, or issues with the printing of the ink. Uh, most bills are printed in a process that's uh, called intaglio, which means it's in a multi-phase process. Uh, essentially, there's a, a three-phase process in which the bill is made. Some things are printed on it. Some things are printed in it. So you'll get kind of issues or errors with those things depending on uh, what you're looking for. So anyway, let's get right to it. This one's not too beat up, so condition-wise, as you know with anything, is a big factor in appraising it. Um, the condition of this bill is a little wrinkly. It might have been wet at one point, whether it just be some sweaty hands or doesn't look like actual rain or anything got on it, but it is a little wavy, which is usually indicative of it being wet. Colors are really good and the ink's not smeared or anything. It's printed appropriately and there's no patterns or fancy serial number on the bill. So we'll kind of move along. $1 bill, 2013 series, the so same series as the $10 note. As you notice, there's a little bit of shift in this seal. Normally it sits a little to the right, but unless it's off of this E here, which uh, long ago I did a video on that we found one that was not even touching the E at all. So look back for a shifted print one dollar bill video if you want to see that uh but that's something to look for a little bit of over inking here but that's really common in this series uh, especially on one dollar banknotes and the back of the note doesn't have anything that's jumping out that's collectible sevens four zeros twos nines nothing in a pattern it's a 2009 series so a little older but $1 notes don't have any changes since 1957, so there's nothing to talk about graphics-wise. Uh, but I'm sure there will be a new rendition of the $1 note in the next coming years. I'll go a little quicker. I don't want to bore you with just unnecessary information on each of the same note. Uh, 2017, the only difference there is, of course, the signatures. But mainly, this signature is in print. Uh, Stephen Nugent is the only person that's ever put his pr signature in print on a bill, which doesn't really make a difference in value or anything. It's just kind of odd. Uh, but then again, to each their own. That one was a lot better condition. It was a little more crisp, uh, but nothing was on that bill. We have a little bit of extra ink up here, but one thing you will notice with a lot of bills in general, but on the $1 note, is you'll see a little blurring. Let's get it really close to the camera here. A little bit of blurring between the lettering on, let's say, Federal Reserve note, how that black bleeds over. That's just normal, and it's part of the printing process. So it's not an error. Nothing in that serial number either. No major shifts or print issues. This discoloration is just normal wear and tear on a bill. So it's not something to call home about. 2013. Once again, a little bit of shifting there on that uh, seal, but nothing really crazy. Uh, nothing in the serial number and the bill itself is really beat up, so if it were collectible, that would detract from the overall uh, value of the, of the bill. 
Nothing on that guy. Huh, okay, here we go. This is a nice little one. I mean, this one has that regular old over ink, but we got a trinary note here, which is fives, fours, and twos. Now, it would have been really nice if they were grouped together, but it's still a trinary note. Trinaries, uh, as I say many times, I think are more collectible than they are valuable, so if you're more looking to make a buck off of stuff that you find in bill searching and coin searching, one, you're probably in the <laughs> wrong hobby. Uh, but mainly, uh, this would not be something that would be up your alley as it's more just collectible. Um, I'll hold on to it because it is a $1 note, so it's not a big face note or anything like that. Um, but I do like trinaries, so I'll consider that a, a keeper. $5 note, probably my favorite five aside from really, really older fives. Uh, but the newer five, this 2013 Series 5 after the redesign. Uh, I just really like the graphics on them. I think they're really nice. This one doesn't have anything special going on that I can see. Got a little bit of excess ink, but that's actually from uh, Lincoln's jacket on the front. A similar uh, effect happens on the $1 note uh, when you turn it over. Generally, right here, as you can see, there's a little excess ink from Washington's uh, coat there. This one's a good example, too. I don't mean to just fidget with the bill repetitively, but this one's a good example of where it should be sitting seal-wise. As you notice with those previous ones, there was a slight shift is what I was referring to. Uh, but that just gives you an example of what it should look like. You've probably seen a dollar bill before, but hey. Really beat up. This is a good example of one that's been wet. If I get a lot of questions about condition or things, hey, is this an error? Did I find a bill that was damaged during production? This would be a good example of something. If your bill looks like this, it was just wet at some point. Almost a broken ladder. If we, huh? Oh couple digits off but anyway 2013 really beat up it's definitely seen its day one dollar banknotes have the shortest lifespan since they're just handled so much more frequently than other denominations of u.s federal uh, reserve notes nothing there Got kind of a smear going on but from the coloration of it that's just some sort of uh dirt or something that's on the bill, so I wouldn't say that that's anything collectible there. 13. This one's a lot brighter, although it's got a lot of press-throughs from ink and stuff, so this one, I actually, normally, you don't see as much of that ink coming through from the one written on the back there, but hey. And then it's actually got the normal press-through ink, press ink from uh, Washington's coat there. Another thing you can look out for, I do point it out in a few videos, albeit I've only had it really in like one, is there's sometimes some major blurring around the lettering for 1776 that's in Roman numerals at the base of the pyramid here. Uh, check out my video, I think it's from the latter end of last year, uh, but that, that's, that'll give you an example of something that has an issue on the Great Seal. This one's sitting a little bit high, but when you I get a lot of questions about miscuts or misaligned prints. As long as it's showing border on it, it's in an acceptable range of printing and therefore is, is not an error. So just to kind of clarify that. Nothing really here. So far, just that trinary note. Nothing super stellar as far as this finds so far. But hey, every bill search doesn't come up with something ridiculous. But we'll see in these uh, last couple notes. I, have, I think it looks like we've got a couple different notes in there, so that's cool. Nothing so fun. Give ourselves a $20 note. Adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. Now we do have a little bit of excessive ink. These little dots down here. But the way a bill is printed on a sheet, it's quite common to get a couple little ink splatters. Now, if it was huge, like even dime-shaped or even smaller, I mean, a very prevalent one, or if it was a major smear on one of these accented portions of the bill or the seals, uh, then that would definitely be an ink smear. But in this case, you know, especially this stuff up here that's more of like a marker or a, 
a counterfeit pen. That stuff's all after the production, and something this minor wouldn't be something to hold on to. Two thousand thirteen series sitting nice right on the middle, because this seal really should be hitting the uh, the inner portion of the center of the E. Nothing on the front there. Definitely folded up and discolored from use. Getting down there. Another 2013 series bill. Sometimes you can get a little bit... I mean, when they change the design, uh, there's a little bit more enhancement on the graphics and stuff. And you'll get this uh, dotting here. You'll see that really prevalent um, on fives from this series. So I would say it's common enough to not be an abnormality, I guess. Uh, so that's just, you know, if you collect them, great, that's on you. But I wouldn't say they're worth more than five bucks uh, due to that minor little imperfection. Last two, a couple dollars. So we'll just kind of look at them at the same time. Nothing really there. I don't see anything jumping out. Like I said, that's just a press through from the uh, writing here on the back for one. That In God We Trust is the only thing they've added to $1 notes since the 50s, so there's no nothing to talk about as far as design. This just looks like a little bit of foreign whatever, an ink pen broke or something next to it. And that is it on that. So, the one thing that we're going to hold on to from this smaller search that we did is going to be our trinary note. Like I said, trinaries are a little bit more of a collectible specimen for uh, banknote searches than they are for something that you're going to gather a major premium, if any, over face value. Now, if it was combined with another air or variety portion of the bill, or like I said earlier, if these were clumped together making just aesthetically and pattern-wise a better serial number for a trinary note, you could probably get a couple bucks over a dollar. Otherwise, it's just something I'm going to throw on a plastic protective sleeve and add to my bill search collection. Thank you so much for coming to the video. Let me know in the comments below what you've come across. Thank you so much for liking and sharing the videos and stay tuned for an upcoming giveaway. I will see you in the next video. Keep being you, you're awesome. And this is a wonderful hobby to be a part of. I will catch y'all later. Have an awesome day.